Hi everyone, Father Scott Vanderveer here outside of one of my favorite places, St. Mary St. Alphonsus Regional Catholic School, SMSA, our beloved academy here at St. Mary's Church. As we begin the preview to Catholic Schools Week, I wanted to share with you one of the things that makes me so supremely proud of SMSA and what an incredible school it is. If you go into the gymnasium at SMSA, you'll find one of the coolest facilities in Glens Falls. It's just this great sunken gym where over the years there have been so many crowds that have come to watch teams and cheer on the, the Kerry Blue. But in addition, you see the values of Catholic education right there in the bricks and the mortar. On the wall of the gym, you see the rules posted there. And these rules, when I first saw them, blew me away. Just imagine how much our world would be changed for the better if everyone lived by these rules stated in our Catholic school gym. Treat the opponents and officials as our guest. Cheer both teams at the start. Cheer the good plays of each team. Don't cheer errors. Don't disturb players or officials. Accept the decisions of officials. Don't cause unfriendly rivalry. A school's reputation is more vital than an unfair victory. An unsportsmanlike fan won't be able to attend other games. A school's reputation is more vital than an unfair victory. I think of Jesus who was treated more unfairly than anyone in the history of the world. The, the actual Son of God, the incarnation of our Maker, came to be with us, and we charged him with blasphemy and gave him the death penalty. It's the most shocking thing you can imagine. So when our leader went through that kind of experience, when when God in the flesh was treated with that kind of unfairness, can you imagine how awkward and ironic it is for a Christian person to be so mad at a ref for a bad call? Isn't that unconscionable as a comparison? We get so bent out of shape sometimes when we don't like the outcome of something or we feel that we're being treated unfairly or that something that's being done feels absurd to us and yet just imagine what it means to be a follower of Jesus and to recognize that the student is no greater than the master if Jesus went through all he went through what does it matter if another school occasionally gets an unfair victory over us because an official makes a, a bad call. What does it really cost us to have something like that happen? I just love the desire of this, this spirit of education to try to squash unfriendly rivalry to try to create respect for legitimate authority, to try to let students and, and parents and all visitors know that our faith and our virtue must be on display always. We would much rather lose than be recognized as uncharitable. We would much rather be the scapegoat than be the one scapegoating someone else. One of the things that being a follower of Jesus requires is for us to grow to the point where we can someday say and mean that we would always rather endure suffering than inflict it on someone else. 
Isn't that something to think about? So often in our culture, we're the ones dishing out the punishment. We say things like, say that one more time and you'll be sorry. We, we say menacing things that let people know, oh, you're not gonna make a fool out of me. I will dominate you. I will, I will overcome you completely. I will own you, as the saying goes. And yet, Jesus, who's the creator and owner of the universe, didn't ever do that during his unfair trial, his disgraceful treatment, and his execution. So to be a Christian in his footsteps means that we would rather endure suffering than to cause it. We don't rain down pain on anyone. And that even extends to our friendly competition in sports. There's nothing wrong with really wanting to win, but winning can never be our top priority. Following Jesus in his footsteps, with his love of all people and of peace must always be what matters above all else. Happy Catholic Schools Week. May God bless you all.